Okay, so here I am with my first Minecraft video and it's of my castle here, which is my second real creation. First one was also a castle, but it didn't really turn out so well. I'm down beneath the moat now, showing you how that all works. Basically, if a monster falls in the moat, it gets killed by that lava when it gets pushed into it by the water, and that bottom course of water pushes all the items into a collection point. It's getting a bit dark out here, so I'd best go inside, I suppose. There's the murder holes up there, so... And just blocking up the entrance there to stop anyone, any monsters following me in. Just going into the gatehouse now. This is the port colour raised up. You can see once again a few more murder holes. It's a bit dark out there, you can't see too much, but you can see the inside of the keep a bit, the courtyard. Lit up by the nice internal lava moat. Thought I'd make it as a video, this one. The screenshots don't really give you quite as much perspective as seeing it in person. Just taking you through some of the art buildings now, you can see there's that automatic pig farm there, pork farm. And here's the stables, blacksmiths. We've got a little room back here. You'll notice we've got two chimneys, and they are actually chimneys on various outbuildings, they're, they're actually hollow all the way through. Not that that's much of an achievement, but most people don't bother. Here are the stalls in the stables. No horses yet, I'm not running that mod. I'm going up the adjoining tower, so I can show you what the wall looks like. And so you can get a better view of the pig farm. There's one almost escaping. So they spawn in the little rooms to the left there and get dragged down the water passages to another wall of lava, but you don't see that. Get into the door. Now you'll notice that both doors open simultaneously, it's a bit of redstone circuitry there, and I'll show you a bit later how that works. I haven't seen that particular redstone, redstone circuitry done in quite this configuration before. That's where the pigs go, and that's where they die. And there's another course of water which pulls their meat out, and of course I have to use a button on the inside of the gate so that the pigs don't step on the pressure pad and let loose. And that's not bad for just those couple of minutes worth of gathering, it takes about four minutes to fill an entire inventory with pork, by staying in the collection spot, or a bit of lag spike there. Not sure that the game likes me having quite so many water courses in it since since I added the moat in it's it's <laughs> had a few lag spikes like that. Just exiting the great hall now and this is into the kitchens where you make all the food. At the top here I've got a little loft, a bit of storage slash sleeping area. Most of my double doors have that same redstone circuitry, by the way, I find it a bit more convenient. And 
now moving out into the church yes the bloody chapel <laughs> bloody cross it's not really a bloody I suppose but it is a cross so at least partially goes with the name and here's a secret passage which doesn't quite go anywhere yet but it will eventually now into the garden which as an unfortunate byproduct of having grass in it, it seems to be the home of a lot of farm animals which can be fun too occasionally a lot of moos though, a lot of noise a few little cul-de-sacs to sit around in the garden something a bit different once again using the push button to stop animals from escaping and moving around anywhere now into the main keep nice little lava fountain there too used as a light source each corner of the keep is a tower which goes right up to the top moving into the gate part of it and you can see the keep has its own portcullis which is also raised up in here and another murder hole as well the great myth is that the murder hole was used to pour burning oil and stuff like that but apparently it didn't really happen yeah, nice great big internal hall which I wasn't too sure what to do with so I put another one of those inverted crosses up here because it's completely symmetrical it can get a bit confusing in there as to which way leads to the front of the castle and which doesn't now up to the main tower now you will observe that I don't really use ladders that much, I do prefer the spiral staircase, I think it's a bit more authentic. And up we go to the top, which conveniently just happens to be on daybreak. Not that I'm going to do the honeydew and sing the song, or I'm not really especially, especially musically minded. It's interesting how my castle is built right on the convergence of several different biomes within the Minecraft world. It's pretty about the cloud, you can't really see much out there. Just came at the wrong time. You can see a little bit through that gap there, down into the park, into the garden way. Now, the quickest way down from the tower, of course, is this. and my spawn point which is not exactly in the most convenient place and now to show you the main living area which is not yet complete I've finished or at least mostly done most of the top area of the castle but I haven't finished the bottom part yet as you'll notice there are the three different doors, the lateral and the rear, haven't haven't been finished yet, but I can show you some of the redstone circuitry for those double doors above. You can see the redstone passes below each of the pressure plates. So 
So he's activated by that. And you can see there's a redstone torch up the top there, which negates the electrical feed from the pressure pads. And this is where the water from the moat winds up. And all the monsters, when they die and drop their items, they follow this path down to the centre. This, of course, is another part that I haven't finished properly. It's I, I, I want to make this a bit more convenient. It's not really ideal at the moment. And I'm not sure it's working properly either with doesn't really seem to generate as many items as it possibly should but it could just be because I'm inside the castle which is too far from the edges hence monsters don't try to follow me into the main bed chambers and you can see I've continued with the inverted cross motif, that's the bed and a few storage chests and that's pretty much it